Donovan's become a very invaluable asset. Uh, from what I can tell, they're, they're good buddies from the Vietnam War. So blue is Vito. Okay. We'll try and keep it even, you know. I'll give Vito some, I'll give Burke some, and Cassandra. Taking the dangerous lane. Oh, going fast. Holy crap. Ah, uh, this is a sprint. Send the checkpoints. And I thought I was fast. These guys. They're keeping up. I'm six seconds behind the track record. Probably need some pretty serious performance upgrades to beat those. Some awesome driving skills too. <gasps> Not like that. Not like that. Uh, we still got plenty of uh, checkpoints. Twelve seconds. That damn traffic. Oh! I got first place, man. Slow down. Slow down! The OC doesn't help that keep hitting the fucking traffic. I'm get this place. Oh shit, five more. Five more to go. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat that guy. Looks like it'll be third place. Can I make an upset to the second? I'm getting closer. Second now, bitches, and that's the final checkpoint out there. Oh well, I did all right. Second place, thousand does. Nice show. Damn, well, if it isn't... Carly, assume you're still publishing that rag of yours. If it bleeds, it leads. And with you out there doing what you're doing, Christ, can't print copies fast enough. You have something for me? Whores. You want high-end whores in the French ward? You go to Handsome Harry Rubber Show, Lou Marcano's hand-picked man. Probably a safe bet that Lou funnels all his VIPs Harry's way. You like to fuck? Harry's the man you want to see. He's got it all covered. Hookers on the corner, porno shoots, and if you got the money, he'll let you live out your sickest fantasies. Usually a good idea to cut off the big money first. Hurt an asshole like Harry right out of the gate. <laughs> I can see the headlines now. New Bordeaux's Blue Bloods cotton sex scandal. Or maybe the city's dark, perverted heart. I'll see what kind of information I can get out of Harry's people about the operation. And the high rollers. The fellas running horse for handsome Harry will know what he's up to. Sad missions. Clients and route. Rich clients with unconventional tastes are being escorted to the plow house. Kill Harry's best customers. Ooh. Bunch of killing. Close one is that. These killing side missions are so much easier though. Get around it! I got you. You never see it coming! Nice 
Pull it. Oh shit, shit, I'm hit. Assholes trying to hide from me. Y'all. Getting out of the line of fire. Uh, uh, All right. Hey, look, cool it. I don't want no trouble. Trouble? Ain't no trouble here. Lincoln Clay doesn't waste a round. Fucking takes him down like that. Suspension upgrade. We'll give it to Vito. Body kit upgrade. Get your man over to the French ward. I need backup to lock this down. Sure, I'll send my guys. But when it comes time to hand over the district, I expect to be running all the rackets. Not some, all. It's gotta be all with Vito. Shit, so demanding. Secured. Well, look. Loving this blue van, Donovan's. I got a name for your judge. Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Luke. I get worked up. I barely avoided that lunatic, Luke. And I pay me and I'm gonna stop you right there, Cornelius. Never know who might be listening in. You need to get this shit under control. <laughs> to this state first elected him to the fifth circuit in 1951 there's something else you should know those two men are lamont harris and trey mccall they were killed by a man named hollis dupree yeah i heard he gunned them down when they showed up to his house asking for help hollis claims he was in self-defense said he thought they were there to kill him cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial so killing him might kick up a lot of noise <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is going to do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that is long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. Sounds good to me. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So, you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. And... Watch out for the cops. Yeah, those fucking cops. I hate those cops. Kill the judge. What's my right again? Oh, hey. Oh. This day's been a goddamn chore. I'm about ready for my medicine. Did 
I don't think this yellow exotic is suspicious at all. He wants to get him killed or he's going in here. What's in here? Okay. Great. What are you waiting for? Title prick. That takes care of that. Nice and swift assassination. Judge dead. The poor scum. <laughs> Such a far away place to meet. Go ahead and drive. There's something I need to play for you. You want to hear Marcano tear Uncle Lou a new one? Bribing a district judge named Cornelius Holden, is that correct? Sal Marcano spent a lot of money getting Holden in his pocket. A lot of money. Judges like that don't come cheap. And with Holden out of the picture, Sal had to find someone else to legalize gambling. And that person was State Senator Walter Jacobs. That's right. You had one fucking job, Lou. Now it's to keep holding him one goddamn piece to left in that room. What was I supposed to do? He wouldn't listen, Sal. It ain't my fault. Ah, uh, nothing's ever your goddamn fault. I swear, if you wasn't my brother, I'd clip you myself. Now listen here. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Can we get to him? Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. I don't want to twist this guy's balls out of the gate, you understand? We need to be smart about this. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, how about I throw him a fundraiser on the riverboat? Show him a real nice time. Get him laid. All that shit. This goddamn casino got me tapped, you understand? This goes down to shit or we're fucked. All of us. Well, I'll pick the guest myself. That's the idea. Make sure they know what's what. Then we'll take a nice long cruise down the bayou. Get them all liquored up. Once he sees that payday, Jacobs is going to do whatever we want. <laughs> Lou Marcano knew everyone. I mean, politicians, merchants, lawyers, bankers. He insisted on being called Uncle Lou and was basically the Santa Claus of the French ward. According to the police reports, Mr. Marcano and Mr. Jacobs were killed during a fundraiser on a riverboat. The thing about the bios, it's a very big place. You could blow the living shit out of everything in sight and no one would even notice. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Assume you already mapped out where the riverboat's gonna go. Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. 
gonna be the least of his problems. You recon the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer cord to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay's specialty. What's wrong? Eh, it's the boat thing, isn't it? Not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> you need to get over it. You were on, what, 40, 45 PBRs in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink. It gets old, man. Look, you blow the coal dumper. Boom. It hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? Uh, 40, 60, but still. <laughs> Going after Uncle Lou, just like that. I am going to enjoy getting my revenge on this guy. Do we just ram our way in, or...? I guess we do. Jesus ah. Christ, watch out! 3070 at the worst! <laughs> Such a funny guy. Old dumper. Junction box. Don't really know the whole point of that. There's one guy down there. Oh shit. You're gonna plug it. All silent kills. Nobody else here? No. Nope. Gonna have to hold ass. Thing. Look at that, that was beautiful. That's <laughs> me, Cody. It's gonna take a long time for this boat to sink. Plenty of time for me to get me some Uncle Lou. Oh, it's 
getting worse. Somebody's jumping be shit. Fucking with me. That black bitch is mine. That's not very nice. We got ourselves a gift. Uh, that's a good that guy. Get that stupid son of a bitch. Uh, get him from the other side. I'm all right. Try to fight me, huh? Ain't got no chance. <laughs> oh, she's done. Goodbye. Crazy lag right now. Look at that, 30 FPS. Too late for that. Everyone's jumping ship. You're all alone, Uncle Lou. Your boy is abandoned, yeah? And I'm coming. Like a hungry shark. I need to eat my fat meal. Oh my god, there goes the captain. Captain's dead. Attack vest right here. I'll tell you what the hell's going on up there. I'm seeing your boys. Walt, old buddy, we gotta move. I will not have my re-elections. Can't open that. No. Which one can we go here? Oh, I see. Let's see if uh, good old grenade can get rid of that. Nope. God. We are sinking. Hello. Okay. It's just a sinking ship. Okay, get up there. Oh my god. That's far enough, you wop asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Take another step, me bitch. Can you think I give a shit about some politicians? Please, please, I, I don't even know what's going on. Shoot him. 
Grim. Tell me Uncle Lou got away. Go Clay, chase him down. Really? Can't use my pistols? Or rifle? Wow. Your aim sucks. Hello, Lou. Listen. I got money. You can have it. All of it. Just don't kill me. I don't want your money. I want you to send a message to your brother. Yeah. Anything. Oh, just say it. You just say it. <laughs> Lord Almighty. <laughs> we elect Jacobs. Senator Walter Jacobs was killed this evening in a fiery explosion aboard a riverboat. Local businessman Louis Marcano also lost his life along with dozens of other wealthy donors there to attend a political fundraiser. When Lincoln left his gutted body on a statue commemorating Andrew Jackson, people were horrified. I mean, how could that be anything but a political statement? Yeah. Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit! You gonna come out now? If I'm tied to that statue of Andrew Jackson over the French ward, he was gutted like a goddamn catfish. Jesus Christ, Pops. Uh, I... This was that goddamn nigga, Lincoln Clay. We wouldn't be in this fucking mess if you'd done what you were supposed to do. You were there. I shot him right in the head. What? I was, I... You shot him what? once! Son of a bitch! Oh, this is just what I fucking need. Holden's dead. Jacob's dead. Christ, without them, this casino isn't going anywhere. Unless I can figure something out. Well, what about the governor? What about him? Wasn't he into us a while back? What for them hookers? Yeah, but he paid all that off. But I still got the pictures. It's gonna take more than pictures of him humping on some broad to swing him around on our side. You understand? A lot more. You always Black call Leo Galante. No, 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 no. Fuck him. That's his name. That's the him. whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. I bring in the commission, they're gonna wanna cut everything. Leo Galante, that's him. God damn it. That's the guy who dealt. Um, Come on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make a Vito. Call. And Joey. Shit. Is he coming out? Leo! Yeah, Sal! <laughs> How the fuck are you? Yeah, listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out and riot because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Did. 
Oh damn. Marcano's bringing in the big boys. The Mafia. Get lost on your way over? Come on in. This city's gonna learn that their dear old Uncle Lou didn't die out there in the swamps when his riverboat sank. And when Lou dead, Sal's gonna be scrambling to figure out his next move. Meanwhile, we're gonna take control of the plow house, the cistern, and all the drinking and fucking in the French ward. They teach you these kind of games over in Nam? Keep pitting people who are loyal to you against each other? Making them feel like they could be close to dying at any moment? Newsflash! You ain't in Vietnam no more. I'm fine with occasionally splitting things when we gotta lock the auction down. But continuing to ask my boys to do work that's gonna put money in someone else's pocket. That's when we tread into areas I don't care for. The Irish deserve to hold on to this piece of the city. There's more of this city under my control than not. So you can call your cracker cleanup crew all you like. But in the end, it ought to come right back here. Feels like a knife is being twisted in my fucking back. Oh, Vito. You're my number one choice anyway. Take us down here, Chalky. Square it up. You get it? Greco thought he had more brains than everyone else. Until they were splattered all over the floor of my chum shack. Chum shack. <laughs> Go against me here, and I suppose I'm just a mongo sop. You're next, You're all right? With my livelihood, pal. That don't put a smile on my face. Uh, I'm going with Vito, and I'll do Burke next. Calling this one for Skeletta. I've had enough of this shit. You're a lying, cheating bastard for dragging me into this. You preyed on my fucking sympathies, and I'll never forgive you for it. Come on, Irish. Relax. You've been around the block enough to know it's just business. There's only so much shit on an Irishman can take before he wipes it from his eyes and comes at you with both <laughs> barrels. I see you clearly now, yeah, like metaphor. Him, and it's time you made this right. Burke, come on now. Shit don't need to jump that far yet. You made your point, Burke. Now that's enough. Y'all don't have to like the decisions I make. And to be honest, your egos are the least of my fucking concerns. Way I see it, you fall in line or you fall out altogether. Now let's go make some fucking money. I'll balance it out. I don't want to lose all th any any one of them. I want to see how it plays out in the end.